levels for a minute. Here we've got an upward trend and as we discussed previously we can draw a support line which represents a diagonal which is kind of guiding the price and the price keeps bouncing off it in its uh, journey uh, to the top. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this diagonal and we're going to copy it and we're going to put it above the price. So there it is. Um, it's got the same angle as the first one and it's sitting on uh, one of the uh, highs of the price. So once again, as you can see here, the price is also bouncing off this diagonal as well um, and bouncing downwards. The price is kind of moving in a channel or corridor. Now, what are we anticipating from the price going forward? Well, right now we are probably expecting for the price to bounce off the top border and then to go back up. This is where we would enter into a buy order. So once the price has bounced off, we would um, wait for it to hit this uh, bottom border of the channel. We would enter into a buy order. And if the price goes in our direction, um, once it hits the top border again, that's when we would close our trade. So it's important to note here that in an upward channel, you it is recommended to um, trade only buy orders. And why is that? Well, let's uh, step uh, take a few steps back for a second. At this stage, we're anticipating for the price to go down. So we could technically conduct a sell order, but it's not advisable for two reasons. First of all, we'd be trading against the trend. And that's something we said we shouldn't do. We should always trade with the trend. And second, as you can see here, the downward movement is actually smaller than the upward movement. So in an upward channel, if you create uh, sell orders, you will always earn less than if you create buy orders. So that's uh, another reason why in an upward channel you should only trade uh, buy orders. Next, we're going to look at a downward channel. So here we've got a downward trend. We can draw a resistance line. If we copy that line, we can see that very often the price will also follow the copied line. So it won't break through it. It will bounce off that line. And channels are very common on the Forex market. And you'll see this from our uh, live trading on a real account. Uh, further down in this course. So here we're expecting the price to go up, then we'll conduct a sell order and we'll close our order uh, once the price reaches the opposite side of the channel. So once again, in a downward channel, it is advised to open sell orders because you would be, in this case, you'll be trading with the trend and you'll get longer movements. And um, so those are the two main ways of uh, trading channels. It's actually one way, but in two different types of channels. Uh, and it's always trading inside the channel. And uh, more often than not, um, the price does stay in the channel. But sooner or later, of course, the price will break the channel. And that's why there's an alternative strategy where in this case, uh, instead of opening a sell order, you would open a buy order and um, you would expect the price to go uh, somewhere out of the channel. You would use this strategy uh, when your other analysis is telling you that this channel is getting too old and the price is going to break through it. So when the channel is quite new, there's more chances that the price will stay inside. When the channel has been around for a while, um, the chances of the price breaking out are constantly growing. Both strategies are valid. Uh, depends on uh, the situation and what your other technical analysis tells you. So to sum up with channels, direction, uh, trade with the channel, uh, stay inside the channel. It's more likely that the price will bounce in, into the channel. Um, there's an alternative uh, strategy, which is a breakthrough strategy, and um, that is used when you expect the price to break free from the channel. All right, so that was channels. Did you enjoy this tutorial? Well, if you did, then you might want to check out the full course. And the good news is that I've prepared an exclusive discount for those who have seen this preview. Just check out the link in the description of this video and you can get the full course with a massive discount. I look forward to seeing you in the course and until then, happy trading.